Hi and welcome back. This is a special video. It's a community request from Sergey. Sergey, thank you very much for requesting this. Uh, you have asked me to show you how to sync the carbs. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to sync the carbs using feeler gauges, so not even vacuum gauges. It's it's very useful. It gets you going very quickly. Uh, vacuum vacuum gauges take a little bit longer, and you, you probably can fine tune them a little bit more. But feeler gauges will get you going, no problem, and the bike, the bike should run just fine uh, using that quick method. So without further ado, let me show you how to do that. So this is really simple. So first things first, detach your throttle cable. This is to make sure that there is no restriction on the movement of the butterflies. Once they are all synced, then you can reconnect it again. Uh, secondly. The main rule is you sync the middle one first because that's your that's going to be your main one and then you're going to sync the outside ones. First thing you need to do is get your outside ones out of the way and we can do that by opening them up more than the middle one. You open it up by just unscrewing these screws a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way out as long as the butterflies lift more than the middle one you know that um, neither this one nor this one will actually get in the way of setting this one correctly. Now the middle one you will be adjusting using the idle adjustment screw. And for the purpose of sinking, we're just going to use a normal feeler gauge that is tenth of a millimeter. And the whole process is very, very straightforward. You try and measure the gap, try to see how easy the feeler gauge goes into the gap. You can adjust it. by unscrewing or screwing in the uh, the idle the idle um, the idle screw and trying it again until we you're happy with the actual positioning now that is not for example very very tight now might open it up a little bit just half a turn try it again yeah so it slides and it's 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 quite tough to actually slide it in. Once you've done, once you're happy with that adjustment, just snap your butterflies once or twice to make sure that there was no uh, obstruction. Try it again. Yeah, it goes in very tight. So now you have this one set to what you roughly know how it feels when you put the feeler gauge in and out. You can start with the other two. Now the other two, as I said, they are wide open at the moment. So we can try we can start and start screwing it back in to close it close the gap and try it. Now that is tight, but it's not as tight as this one. So we can adjust it a little bit more. Try. It still slides in easier than this one. A little bit more. And that is now that is now hard, it rubs similar to this one. This one still feels a little bit uh, easier, so we're gonna do a tiny adjustment. Snap the butterflies. Try again. I'd say they feel they feel the same now. So now moving on to the the third one, and we're going to repeat the same procedure. It's wide open, very easy to get in. So we're going to start closing it roughly there, and let's have a look. And there is 
a similar amount of uh, resistance now. Maybe close it a little bit more. Try it again. Snap it again. Make sure that they are not hanging up anywhere. Try it again. That's rubs. And that rubs pretty much the same with the same resistance. Try the third one. And the third one is also very similar. So that is effectively how you can quickly set your carbs up to get the bike running. I'm not going to argue with people that are going to say that vacuum gauges are much better. Yes, you can fine tune each individual carb with the vacuum gauges much better because there might be difference, differences in how the, uh, the actual each individual carb works. But just to get your bike on the road and the engine running, I guarantee that will be sufficient. I've had XJR 1300 running on carb sync just on the with feeler gauges. I had uh, synced a Bandit 1200, which worked just fine as well. Uh, and I had the GPX 750, which I've done, and it also ran without actually attaching the uh, vacuum gauges uh, post that initial adjustment. So. I think you'll find that if you just give it, well, it didn't take us five minutes. Uh, you can get everything running nicely. And once you got all of them set up, of course, don't forget if they are too tight, open the idle adjustment a little bit. So when you actually start the bike, it doesn't choke and, and die because there is absolutely no, no gap there. But the gap will be even across all three of them now. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you sync carbs using feeler gauges. Uh, let me know what you think, if you're gonna try it. Let me know how you got on. Uh, it should work for you just fine. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you guys. Hey, if you like the design of the t-shirt and you'd like one for yourself, these are actually available for sale. Just follow the link in the description and get yourself one as well.